Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, share and like it. I hope you are good and in waiting of new video. The topic for discussion in this video is very important for decreasing the undetermined losses, which is sucrose decomposition in acid and alkaline solutions and losses in sugar manufacturing. The purpose of this account is to relate the current understanding of the mechanisms of sucrose degradation in aqueous acid and alkaline solutions to product loss in sugar manufacture and refining. The pH control in sugar industry has a vital role in increment or reduction of losses and recovery. The control on pH is implemented as a critical control point. The pH should be maintained almost neutral during all process in order to minimize the undetermined losses. Alkaline degradation of sucrose. It is a common belief that the alkaline decomposition of sucrose proceeds initially via cleavage of the glycosidic linkage, resulting in either D-glucose and D-fructose or ionic forms of these monosaturides. Parker favored a mechanism, wherein an internal nucleophilic displacement at the glycosidic linkage of a sucrose anion resulted initially in ionic forms of the monosaturides, which rapidly formed acids of lower molecular weight. Richards proposed that, alkali-catalyzed degradation of sucrose does not initially proceed via hydrolysis of the glycosidic linkage and the formation of D-glucose and D-fructose, or their ionic forms. In contrast to reducing sugars, sucrose and related alkyl glycosides are considerably more stable in alkaline medium. Sucrose is relatively labile to alkaline degradation. Alkaline degradation of monosaturides. D-glucose and D-fructose also called invert sugars are present in both cane and beet juice, and decompose on the addition of lime at high temperatures during purification of the juice. During juice purification and concentration, it is necessary to keep concentrations of invert sugar low. Invert sugar decomposition is less critical to good process control in the cane sugar mill, where the lower concentration of primary amines makes the formation of malad reaction products less likely. In fact, it is considered an advantage, in cane sugar manufacture, to maintain a small concentration of invert sugar throughout the process because invert sugar, which remains in the mother liquor during crystallization, has a net effect of lowering sucrose levels in final molasses. Monosaturides in alkaline medium degrade by the process of isomerization, degradation and oligomerization into carboxylic acids. Here. From figure we can see that how these reactions occur. By knowing all, it can be concluded as 1. The inversion of sucrose into reducing sugars should be controlled and minimized as possible. 2. Reducing sugars due to their alkaline degradation convert into low molecular weight organic acids and which thereby invert the sucrose molecules and reduce the overall recovery. 3. Reducing sugars itself do not take away any sugar molecules with them in the stream of molasses. Acid catalyzed degradation of sucrose. From picture attached, it is very easy to understand the mechanism of acid catalyzed degradation of sucrose. The mechanism of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of sucrose involves protonation of the glycosidic oxygen atom followed by heterolysis of the glycosidic bond to form the two monosaturides, with one monosaturide in the form of a cyclic oxocarbonium ion. In this slide, we learn how acid catalyzed degradation of reducing sugars occur. Acid catalyzed hydrolysis of sucrose initially yields D glucose and a fructose oxocarbonium ion, which can react with water to form D fructose and regenerate the H catalyst. As a consequence, further acid degradation of sucrose can be described by the action of acids on D glucose and D fructose. Conclusions Sucrose degrades in acid far more easily than in alkali, and invert sugar the product of acid hydrolysis is far more reactive in alkali than in acid. In acid, the rate of hydrolysis of sucrose is faster than the rate of degradation of its inversion products. In alkali, the rate of degradation of sucrose is much less than the rate of degradation of D-glucose or D-fructose. Because alkali degradation of sucrose does not result in inversion products in slightly alkaline solution, the loss of sucrose to invert sugar glucose plus fructose is a consequence of the acid hydrolysis mechanism, which provides D-glucose and D-fructose for further alkaline degradation. Thanks you for watching.
For more updating videos regarding sugar industry, please keep visiting my channel.